Hi. Now, in this example, we're given the acute angle A is such that tan A equals 2. And we've got to find the exact value of cosec A. And in the second part, the angle B is such that the tan of A plus B equals 3. And using an appropriate identity, find the exact value of tan B. So if you'd like to have a go at this, then give you a moment as usual just to pause the video. Come back when ready and you can either fast forward to the end to check your worked solution or you can go along with me as I take you through the question. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all then, find the exact value of cosec A. Well, we're given that Angle A is an acute angle, less than 90 degrees then, and it's such that tan A equals 2. So if I know that tan of the angle A equals 2, cosec A is the same as 1 over sine A. So cosec A is going to be 1 over sine A. Problem is, we don't have sine A. And the way I can get sine A is to construct a triangle. We know that the tan of an angle, and we know that A is an acute angle, so if I had a triangle something like this, and this angle in here was angle A, I know that when I compare the opposite side to the adjacent side, we get 2. So if I label this 2 and say this adjacent side is 1, then I create that ratio. Tan of A equals 2 over 1, which is 2. And now I can work out what this third side is by Pythagoras' theorem. The hypotenuse here is going to be equal to the square root of this side squared plus this side squared. So it's going to be the root of 4 plus 1 the root of 5. Okay, so put that in as root 5. So when it comes now to finding out the value of cosec A, which equals 1 over sine A, we know that sine A compares the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So it's going to be 2 over root 5. So we've got 1 divided by 2 over root 5. And if I multiply top and bottom of the fraction by root 5, then you'll have 1 times root 5, which is root 5. And the bottom, if you multiply it by root 5, just leaves you with 2. So you've got root 5 over 2 then as the exact value of cosec A. And you don't have to go out and find the angle to do this, OK? So just work off the triangle. OK, well that's uh, part 1. And now we'll just move on to the second part. And in part two, then, we've got to work out what the value of tan B is, given that the tan of A plus B equals 3. Well, if we know that the tan of A plus B okay, equals 3, we also know an identity, or should do anyway, for the tan of A plus B. The tan of A plus B is the same as the tan of A plus the tan of B, okay, all divided by 1 minus tan A tan B. So, as I say, it's an identity that you should be familiar with. So, using this identity then, we can therefore say that in place of this, for tan A, we know tan A is 2, okay, so we've got 2 plus tan B, okay, all divided by 1 minus tan A tan B, so 1 minus 2 here multiplied by tan B, 1 minus 2 tan B. And we're told that the tan of A plus B then equals 3, so this must equal 3. So it's just a question now of rearranging this to solve for tan B. And I'm going to multiply both sides then by 1 minus 2 tan B. And if I do that, we've got therefore 2 plus tan B equals 3 multiplied by 
1 minus 2 tan b. And all I need to do now is expand the bracket on the right hand side. So we'll just copy the left hand side, 2 plus tan b. And expanding the right hand side gives us 3 minus 6 tan b. And so if I rearrange this, I'll add 6 tan b to both sides and I'll subtract 2 from both sides. So therefore we've got tan b plus 6 tan b, so it's going to be 7 times tan b. And then here, if we take 2 from both sides, 3 take 2 gives us 1. And so if I divide both sides now by 7, you end up with the exact value for tan b as being 1 7th. Okay?